thinking of Queen Andrew. <laughs> They're off again. Slight floor and Game game number two. It's still a rook ending. It's still a rook ending. Game number two. Don't Beaumont employs the reverse play. grob. Is this a psychological ploy for today for for this evening's play? I perhaps he's not. perhaps he's learning for the sake of Beaumont. Perhaps he's still. learning the lessons of Lost last week. Game. Lost positions with, with the H pawn. This time he's trying the G pawn. Maybe in a few weeks time he'll actually get to play the E or D pawn first. Possibly. I wouldn't bank my money on However, I'm very concerned that perhaps perhaps in next week's Fight Club he might respond to E4 with F5. This is a possibility. Based that on might be the quickest Fight Club we've ever seen. Uh, the eye casting. Is he casting into danger? Or is he just crushing in the centre? The goat ignores everything, just calmly pushes the pawn. Says, meh, that stops it. The eye. Pawns come forward. Captures in the centre. He's after the king. Cares not about bishops. He's after Bishop the king. The eye is focused. Beaumont just recaptures the pawn. The eye. He's going for the king. Preparing to bring the queen in. The goat realises the danger, does not capture the bishop, prefers to just guard the king. Ah, uh, pinning, maybe winning. The goat! It's called tempo. The goat. Is it called tempo? The goat, with his own commentary, employs pawn takes bishop. <laughs> <laughs> Laughs, tempo. says, is this learn. Genius or is this a severe case I, thought of it was, I thought it was dodgy E6 pawn. I thought it was. It's going to be a whitewash. The, the eye tries to return fire, both verbally and on the board. The goat, continuing with the tempo theme, attacks the queen once again. Error. Eye already considers this an error, even before thinking of his response. Look at this position, it's beautiful. The eye is happy. He's down a piece. He's in familiar territory. <laughs> <laughs> Beaumont, pin three ways, king that can't move. Pawn somewhere up the board on the GRH file. He's in familiar territory. It's about 94. Who will win this, this tense matter? Oh. Off no. comes a piece. In comes a knight. Heading for those huge squares that are well guarded, F6 and D6. <laughs> Also heading for the critical square F2. Ah, oh, of course. Special chess comments from, from the man Morris in the background. Critical square for the knight there, F2, where it can redeploy to D1. And, and then get, and, and then and then return to C3. <laughs> the goat currently moves the knight up to F5. Is this overextension? The eye has a slight clock advantage and he's using it. Deep in thought, how to continue. He has no more bishops to attack with. Must use knights, rooks. Beaumont, controversy, castling. Castling with no pawns in front of the king. <laughs> castling with an open F file. How is this possible? How is this possible? How did it happen? The eye is stunned. As usual. Very concerned. He's trying to mentally he's think. Praying. Mentally think, was this a legal move or had the king moved earlier? He's remembering his youth. Calmly reinforces the centre. God answers his prayers. <laughs> Opens up the white square for, for the white square diagonal for the bishop that he doesn't have. The goat moves more pawns on the side of the board. That's what he does. NBC specialty. In comes the knight. Coming F4. Maybe the he's coming. on the face of Beaumont tells the story. Beaumont thought about taking the pawn, but calmly, actually. calmly defends with the queen. A curious lateral queen manoeuvre, not normally seen in the games of the goat. Cavezza seems to have successfully neutralised the uh, the bishop pair of the goat. While neutralising his own bishop pair in the process. Well, this was, this was part of the plan. He's, he's, he's employing the reverse of veggies. So veggies knows that knights are dangerous in blitz games. So 
the eye chooses to keep them on the board. Pawns come forward in the centre. The goat just laughs and captures a pawn on the side. He's trying to set up the pseudo winding. The pseudo delayed winding with doubled pawns on the A file. Even more deadly. As deadly as I come. The eye's given up his clock advantage. Calmly moves the queen. Very sneakily. This is this is the kind of the kind of diagonal that Maurice Ashley would love. <laughs> Lining the queen and king up on the same diagonal. If Maurice was here, I could feel a special comment coming on. Unfortunately, he's not here. Unfortunately, Maurice. Unfortunately, is, he's not unfortunately here. Maurice, like 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 many others who have have turned up to Fight Club and and just embarrass themselves, he's once again banned. <laughs> As they all do. They all end up. Only, only, only the survivors remain at Fight Club. The knight jumps into G5. It seems like the E6 square is key. Chess comments from the man, Morris. What do you think of the E6 square? I believe it is key. <laughs> Special comments there from the man, Morris. <laughs> <laughs> the goat equalises the clock times and ponders the move. I also believe that Mr. Byron is a piece up. It's true. Whether this is significant or not, I have no idea. Whether this means anything. Extra special comments from the man Morris. Special being the key word in that sentence. <clears throat> Beaumont. Beaumont of the Baron. To unsure, me. unsure what to do. Offers the Baron. Baffled. The Baron That's helps nice. always. I understand. However, the Baron just seems to blunder a pawn. However, the Baron would not be too disappointed by that. You can now offer a second Baron. <laughs> <laughs> and this and this further removes any chances of getting an advantageous ending for the Baron that position. Was a shocker. By who? You. The eye. The eye laughs in the face of, of, of the moves from the goat. There's been a lot of laughing in the face of Queen. It was a shocker. Man, it was pretty bad. Removing the key winding pawn. The goat returns to his, his favourite of tempo. What happens when the queen is attacked? Most mortals would move it. <laughs> <laughs> but not to but, 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 but yeah, where? But goal. where? The, the issue of this where can this queen move? This is the question. Once again, the clock times have equalised just over the minute mark. Maybe the answer. The is eye. Answer. He's not sure. Maybe the answer lies in Washington. Isn't that trapped? Shizen. What? The eye. He's so concerned, he's now swearing in another language. <laughs> Very talented, the eye. Very talented. In a foreign language. He's, he's multi-talented. Not only can he, can he show signs of madness, play chess, and, and do a website, he can also swear in German. <laughs> He just moves the pawn forward. A man for the ages, indeed. Beaumont laughs and recaptures. <laughs> <laughs> so what was that? What was his lame attempt to try and find a solution. Has, has the eye cracked? The has the, the, the eye cracked? The eye's cracked, it's obvious. Not Beaumont. Cracked! cracked. Has the eye cracked? Boom. Has the, the eye cracked. cracked? The eye has cracked. I mean, it's critical. I'm the pieces now. The critical point <laughs> here. Like a critical point here. A futile move. <laughs> the goat laughs. He laughs at us, Audibly <laughs>, laughs. Oh, oh, Audibly laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> snaps oh, off. Snaps little. off the queen. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna find a miracle mate here. Snaps off the queen. Calmly, calmly checks the king and and Kvezza resigns in the face of, of certain time defeat. Has some, some this was the miracle move. Was Critical miracle comments. Move was this. Was the Critical comments here from the Riddler. Hang on, Riddler. I was waiting for Riddler. You. Post game analysis. Un bang. Unheard of in Fight Club. I'll take it. Yeah. And he makes you on H2 and then BANG! <laughs> <laughs> the Riddler. The Riddler was wrong, unfortunately. Riddler. <laughs> there was no miracle move. Attempting psychological boys. <laughs> I've got better on my side. <laughs> <laughs> Post game interviews for the right. goat. For the goat, how, are you, how do you feel now having equalised after only two games this week? With a 400 point rating advantage. 
All I can say is the reverse grub did its work. The reverse grub, you feel that the psychological edge of it. You're playing these reverse. This week is thematic, the, it's the grub. The grub is a thematic. Giving him a okay. I'm I, juggling. You seem to have cracked in that position. You, you had potential. Mm. And when, when the going got tough, unfortunately, you got going. Yeah. That's how, how, how are we going to deal with this? Having, having Last week you had a successful 2-0 lead before you collapsed. It mm -hmm. seems, mm -hmm. do you think that this might have been just a 1-0 lead before the collapse? Or um, was that just, are you doing the reverse psychology? You could argue that Beaumont's collapsed. I mean, 400 point rating difference, one all, it's pretty bad. Some would argue that, again, trying to point these things out, <laughs> mathematically, is actually a let's, let's zoom, in, zoom in here to these ratings. Uh, Go, do you mind removing your hand there? 2061 mathematically minus 1750. Yeah, but every the, the, math the mathematicians amongst you <laughs> might actually realize that this is not actually 400 points and it's actually only 311. Yeah. Propaganda! <laughs>